What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and uh, here we are. The last piece of DLC is available now for LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens, and with it we have uh, five new characters as part of the Escape from Starkiller Base DLC. Now, this is not the final grid that we're going to have right here. Uh, this is on Xbox One, so obviously there is the PlayStation 4 DLC uh, for droids and for the Phantom Limb. So there's probably another, I think I want to say like 14 to 16 characters uh, that will be on the character grid. When this launches, I mean, it's, mid, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning uh, Eastern Time in the U.S. as I make this video. So this will probably launch in the next 12 to 16 hours on PlayStation 4. Once it does that, I'll go ahead and get all the characters there. And I'll do a, a final character grid video. And I'll show off all the DLC. But uh, that'll be what the final character grid is. I doubt that they're going to do like a thank you DLC. They did it in Bat Lego Batman 3 and they did it in Lego Marvel's Avengers. Where they added a few characters for free. I seriously, seriously, seriously doubt they're going to do that with this game because uh, I, I don't think this game was as successful as they had hoped it would be. Um, but in any event, there are five more characters to talk about here, and uh, two of them are right here. Uh, first, we have Lieutenant Wright, who's a, a sassy character. Uh, she's got an Irish accent, which is actually fairly interesting. I actually really like this level pack. Uh, I love the fact that she's a pilot and she flies her little jet. Uh, that's a lot of coolness. And um, she obviously has a blaster pistol. She's a grapple gun. And she can actually go into toxic areas. She puts on a mask and she can accept resistance missions. Next up we have R3Z3. And this is a pretty cool droid. I love that it has the glass top. Uh, so it's clear. You can see the inside there. Uh, so it's a pretty cool looking droid. Uh, I'm a sucker for astromechs, personally. Uh, can hover out of reach areas, bypass toxic and cold areas. So, you know, just like all the other droids. I know droids are kind of filler, but I still think they're enjoyable because, um, you know, they're droids, you know? Uh, so, sorry, I'm trying to get out of this high traffic area, apparently. Uh, so, the other main character as part of Escape from Starkiller Base is Sai Thranali. I'm not exactly sure which race he is, um, but uh, he's kind of the same as uh, Elo At Asti. Um, let's actually do a quick comparison. Uh, where's Elo at? Probably under E, right? Um, oh, same race as Ilko as well. There, oh, there he is. Okay. So, Elo Asti. So, I mean, I mean, it's basically the same character, just without a helmet and no stripes on the arms. And they do different things, so. But uh, this is Sai Thranali, and uh, he can uh, accept resistance missions, do agility objects, and climb Lego walls. Those resistance members in Whoops. Soon. I've already requisitioned several Noogie droids. Um, so, yeah, one of the things, he, he has to do that, like, agility wall thing uh, in the level that you play. So, uh, there is Sai Thranali. There are also two resistance officers, or... Um, not resistance, uh, First Order Officers. First we have uh, Colonel Datu, who I think is kind of cool. I, I like the way that, <laughs> I love the way he makes that face when he walks. Like he's like super constipated. <laughs> um, he's got a, a blaster pistol. And he just makes that stern face. So he can accept first order missions, he can scan for hidden objects, and he can use first order terminals. Uh, the last character as part of this DLC is Lieutenant Rodinen. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Rodinen, Rodinen, 
Rodinon, Rodinon, I would imagine. Um, there you go. He basically is like exactly the same thing as far as what he does. He even makes that same stern face. So, um, and what does he do? He strength handles first order terminals and first order missions. So it's not an entirely like thrilling group of, uh, of DLC characters, but you know, could be worse, I guess. Finally, uh, there is also one new vehicle. The First Order Assault Walker. Here is our micro figure. And this is definitely a fun little vehicle to play with. So, uh, there you go. Looks like, um, oh wow, did it kick me? It's kicking me. That's funny. Um, so there you go. A little bit of RoboCop action there. Kind of looks, I don't know what the designation is, but kind of looks like that big tank cop from RoboCop uh, 2, anyway. Maybe it was RoboCop 2. Was it 1 or 2? I don't know. It's 1 in the morning, and my brain is fried, so... Um, in any event, they go to sleep? Is that what they do? Typical officer. <laughs> there you go. That's what they do when they get bored. Speaking of sleep, I think that's what I need to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see ya.